In today's video, we're going to be talking about five ways to help you stay motivated to work out. And as always, guys, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. I'm going hard with these videos, if you haven't noticed. I'm going to keep them coming as long as you guys keep the likes flowing, so let's go. People struggle with motivation, so I want to help you not only get motivated, but stay motivated to work out, hit the gym, lift heavy shit, and be a total badass. Number one is create a small barrier to entry. What this means is most people look at the gym as as a chore. They look at it as something they do not want to do. Not everybody loves lifting and I understand that. The gym can be intimidating for a lot of people. Convince yourself to go to the gym and go warm up. If after your warm up you want to leave, you want to head out, that's totally cool. Nine times out of ten what you're going to find is that you do your warm up and then afterwards you feel comfortable. Oh, this isn't that bad and then you end up doing your workout. Number two is set realistic goals. I cannot tell you how many times I have a new client come on with me and they want to go to the gym five times, six times a week because they feel so motivated and hyped up. Most of the time, they cannot stick with something like this. So most of the time, we go to the gym three or four days a week. That's totally sustainable and totally normal. And you'll actually see amazing results training three or four days a week. Why? Because it's realistic. It's what you can adhere to. And fitness is all about what you can be consistent with. It doesn't matter if you go super, super hard for 30 days, if you give up after that, right? So it's, we're trying to get rid of the all or nothing mindset. We're trying to move into a smooth, consistent transition of making fitness a lifestyle and in order for this to happen it needs to happen gradually over time number three is set performance goals not just aesthetic goals a lot of people will set a goal of i want to lose x pounds by this date or i want to have a six pack by this date while i applaud you for having goals having goals is important having aesthetic goals that is what's called an outcome based goal and we don't necessarily have as much control on the outcome as we do on the steps and the habits that'll get us to that outcome so some better goals that i like would be maybe you want to get your first body weight chin up or maybe you want to pull two times your body weight in the deadlift maybe you want to get better hip mobility so you can get deeper into a squat these are all performance based goals that i think you'll have a better time and more fun when you go into the gym rather than just going in there trying to burn as many calories so you can lose weight when i'm working with a client who's getting frustrated at their lack of progress because maybe they've been inconsistent and i start to have them focus on performance based goals instead of aesthetic goals they actually start to make more aesthetic progress than if they were to just focus on the scale and those numbers that they can't control. Number four is be competitive. What do I mean by this? Building muscle and chasing performance in the gym is all about beating your former self. I don't mean comparing yourself to others. What I mean is comparing yourself now to your former self. And so this is what you're going to do. You're going to always try and beat your former self. So if last week you lifted 20 pounds on the bicep curls for 10 reps, this week you're going to try and get 12 reps. So always trying to beat your former self, always trying to kill a previous weaker version of yourself, so to speak. This is why it's so important to track your workouts. Write everything down, keep it in a notes section on your phone or use an app. And this will actually make your training a lot more fun and a lot easier because all of your data is in one place and you can look back at it and be like, oh my God, look at this. I actually doubled my squat since I started six months ago, right? So it's looking back on all of those things and realizing that you are beating a former weaker version of yourself and becoming stronger, becoming more badass. And this is what going to the gym and making fitness a lifestyle is all about and it's actually going to be fun for you. Number five is pre-workout. Now the reason I put this last on my list is because pre-workout is kind of a crutch. However, pre-workout is what got me into the gym. It's what got me consistent on days that I didn't want to lift. I would take a scoop of pre-workout and no matter what, I knew that like I had this intense energy flowing through my veins and I felt like I had to go work out because I wasn't just going to sit on my couch with this tingly weird feeling crawling throughout my skin. So <laughs> I know that doesn't exactly sound appealing, but pre-workout is actually what helped me be consistent at first because I had a hard time getting off my ass and going to the gym. And once I started taking pre-workout and I started making it into a habit, then I kind Kind of weaned myself off of it now if you notice this pre-workout is actually stim free so i actually choose to not use stimulants in my pre-workout and there's a ton of other good stuff that comes along with that for focus mental clarity for pumps for endurance things like that so i still use pre-workout i just don't use the stimulant version of the pre-workout so if you want to grab some pre-workout i really recommend legion pulse i'll leave a link down in the description and you can go check that out that's it for today's video hopefully it was enjoyable educational and informative and if it was please shoot me a like and more information about coaching and my blog and articles on my website. You can also check out Legion products down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.